I would be the president of the PTA. No, Nick, you would start fights. You yeah, would that's why I need to fight. be on the PTA. Welcome back to another episode of I Never Liked You with Mateo Lane and Nick Smith. And today we are answering questions from our Patreon. So go off, Nick. Go off. All right. Question numero un from Malena A. Is Nick really a mean person? Yes. Or is the- next question? <laughs> yes. Yes. Next question. Or is that just for entertainment? I'm asking because he genuinely looks like a nice person. I mean, that smile looks very kind to me. Nick is mean on Fortnite. Nick's mean on the phone. Nick's mean with his friends. Nick's mean on stage. Nick's mean. I will podcast. say Nick's if mean I mean to his mom. I, if I like you, I'm mean to you. If I'm not mean to you, trust that I don't like you. <laughs> no, you're not mean. No, I'm actually a fairly nice person. But let's not say things we can't but take back. Uh, you're not mean. I think we're similar in the sense that we... I'm much nicer than you are. Mm, I am much nicer than you are. I think are. we're both nice, and I think we both find humor... Chris, who's nicer? In... No, no, no. Chris, no. say it. <laughs> who's nicer, Chris? No, don't do this. Say me. it. No, this isn't fair. <laughs> You're both wonderful. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next question okay. from Matt G. If, if each of you had to choose a tattoo that the other would have to get, mm. what would you choose? And I'm going to add, and where? Okay, I would have you get a tattoo of Susan Boyle's Christmas album and covering your entire back. You know I don't like needles. Why would you? That's mean. See? You are the mean one. All right, let's see what your tattoo idea is. I would do something very small and tasteful. (laughs) Um, I would choose a pickle. I was going to say pickle, too. And I would... On my dick? No, I do it on your chin, like right here on your good side so that you'd have to switch and sit over here from now on and I could finally sit there. Is that that mean? I would have your Halloween (laughs) skull that you put on me tattooed onto your face. So you can be reminded every single day of how un- I stand talented by you it. are. One mistake at the very end that I put those Nick, lines the that made it thing teeth. was a mistake, that last part. No. It looked good up until that last Please show second. a picture of what it looked like before he put that line through, Chris. And it was good. Bad. I stand by it. It was on par with yours, and you know it. Mine was fantastic. So mine was, was mine. It was just the end that it made it look like teeth. But before that... It looked like a skeleton. Next question. Okay. This one is from Julian. If you had to raise a child together. I would hope it's a girl. Who would be on the PTA? And I'm going to add to the question. What would our child's name be and what gender? Our child would be... Well, I don't care the gender, but I'm just saying if we had a girl, at least we could pick the dress. Okay, let's like choose that. a girl name and a boy name. Okay, girl name would be uh, Liza May. The boy name would be Liza. <laughs> with an S. <laughs> it's Liza with a G, not Liza with an S. Cause, um, and I would be on the PTA because you would be a nightmare. You no, would I, would r- I would be the president of the PTA. No, Nick, you would start fights. You yeah, would that's why I need to fight. be on the PTA. The PTA is not for fighting. Yeah. It's parent. I would be the... I'd Are be you the- kidding? I'd be cooking the meals, and I would be the one regulating, like, we have to wake up at this yeah, time. Yeah, you're behind the scenes. The time. PTA is we go to laying sleep, down the law. Blah, blah, First of blah. all, we would both be horrible parents. I'm just throwing that out there. I actually... I would be a great parent. I would really be a good parent. I would be. I have good personal I wasn't instincts. even allowed to slide this coffee table without yeah, you. Yeah, you're not my child, and I'm not raising a child. But I'm saying in terms of like how you raise a child, I would be a very good parent. I have good parents. I think I would be a good parent. All right, let's see. Your kid is... Uh, Blanche. Blanche, okay. Blanche, time for dinner. So what's, uh, what's, the, what's the schedule of Blanche? She's three and a half. 
three and a half. That means she's in pre-K, preschool. Preschool's four, I think. Pre-K is four. Preschool is before that. No, four is preschool. Five is kindergarten. I think I'm right. (laughs) Tell me if I'm right. It's different everywhere. Um, so we would wake up and have a wholesome breakfast of Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> they have healthy options. Well, I'm not giving her coffee. Okay, go on. I'm going to, I'll do mine after We you. take her to preschool. Okay. She's the best dressed, obviously. We pick her up after, well, I don't know, how long are they there for? Four hours? If they didn't give her a nap... Get her home, lay down, take a nap. <laughs> then I, I don't know, put her in the backyard and let her, <laughs> let her imagination it's run wild. Slowly soliloquying to a dog. <laughs> get her to the vet. Get her her shots. <laughs> get, uh, get, her, get her rabies booster. Get, then make for, sure you have an electric fence. Dinner. So Blanche runs too far. <laughs> Dinner, we get Chipotle. Oh then as a family, we watch an episode of Golden Girls, who she's named after. That's too, she's too young. You got to start him young. <laughs> and then she goes to bed. While I go to the PTA meeting. She's going to bed at 4 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> what time is this PTA meeting? And do you ever wake up the same time every day? Sure. Okay, next question. I didn't get to tell my... All right, tell yours. So, Liza wakes up. She wakes up at the, We wake up at the same time every day. Which is? Uh, let's see. If she's going to be going to preschool, well, she'll probably wake up a little early. So let's say 7 o'clock. So, we wake up. <laughs> 7, 7.30. Kids, wake up really early, Nick. God, not mine. <laughs> well, you've given them NyQuil the <laughs> night before to shut them up. So that way they sleep till 11 p.m. Just in time for their healthy lunch at Chipotle and then their dinner at Chipotle. <laughs> They're going to be lethargic. <laughs> That's how I want my kids. She's gonna have, nice and sleepy. She's going to have one foot by the time she gets to third grade. All you need is one. <laughs> All right, so you wake up at 7 a.m., greet and the I day. And breakfast. Which is? Well, it depends on the day, but probably let's get some scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Kids like scrambled eggs with ketchup. Maybe some toast or cereal. What if she's like, Daddy, I want a pickle? Not for breakfast. No. You have to, kids, you have to, you wouldn't cook your kids any meals. Can you Cook? Cook? Did your mom cook for you guys? No. <laughs> what can your mom? Mom, if you're watching, I don't know. What did she did make? Not. Honestly, she, not much. Well, like, what's the We're thing? not a cooking family. I understand that. I can see that. But <laughs> what was the one thing she made? I I feel like I ate noodles and butter. Call your mom and, and let's call her and we see. We don't have time. We have several we call other Call your questions. mother right now. I want to see like something that she made. Hey guys, our sponsor today is HelloFresh. We all know home cooked meals are so much better for you, but you don't always have time to do them. So with HelloFresh handling the meal planning, shopping, and most of the prep, it's easier to ever than to get dinner on the table quick and painless. Plans change and life gets busy. That's why HelloFresh lets you easily customize your delivery from week to week. Tailor everything to your schedule by adjusting your delivery date or skip a week when you're not able to cook at home. Easily customize your meals with protein or veggie swaps. And don't forget to check out HelloFresh Market for more delicious add-ons, items to jazz up your weekly deliveries. Choose from a variety of menu options to suit all your needs and your tastes. From fit to wholesome to quick and easy and vegetarian to family friendly, there is literally something for everybody. I love HelloFresh because you know I love to cook, but I'm busy, I'm on the road, I'm touring all the time, and it's so great to just get that delivery, have everything laid out for you, follow the recipe, and it's a nice home-cooked meal. For free breakfast for life, go to HelloFresh.com slash free never. One free breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Ah, oh, the wonderful world of pistachios. Look, pistachios have literally come out of their shells. I know something about that. I came out of my shell when I was 13. But 
These have a better taste, okay? And with less work for you to do. Less cracking, more snacking. Wonderful pistachios, no shell flavors come in a variety of award-winning flavors, including chili roasted, honey roasted, sea salt and vinegar, smoky barbecue, sea salt and pepper, and my newest favorite addition, jalapeno lime. Spice lovers, go nuts. See what I did there? It, it's time to get spicy with the wonderful pistachio's newest no-shell flavor, jalapeno lime. With a wide range of flavors, there's a wonderful pistachio's product for every taste bud and occasion from enjoying with family and friends, which Mateo, you don't have any, or taking them with you on the go. Savory, salty, smoky, spicy, or Mateo, or sweet, wonderful pistachios, no shell flavors are delicious snacks that consumers can feel good about. I'd love to feel good about something. Next time you're shopping for snacks and you are craving something crunchy and satisfying, which I always am, ditch the bag of chips and grab wonderful pistachios, no shells. Your body and your taste buds will thank us. And the more you eat, the less I have to talk to you. Snack healthy when you are on the move. But where should they go to learn more? <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. Visit wonderfulpistachios.com to learn more. So where is that again, Nick? Visit wonderfulpistachios.com to learn more. That's W-O-N-D-E-R-F-U-L-P-I-S-T-A-C-H-I-O-S.com. Chris, your mom cooked, right? Yep. We never went out. To, well, we didn't have money, but we never went out to we eat. We didn't go out either. I don't, in hindsight, know what we... <laughs> we want to know what you ate. I don't know. <laughs> what did you eat? I could think of I all ate, the like, meals. Noodles and butter, meatloaf. Did your mom make it? Hamburger. Mom, what would you cook when we were growing up? I mean, I know you didn't cook much, but like when you did. I don't know. Spaghetti, cheeseburgers. What? Well, what was like shells. a? I'm trying to figure out because Nick can't seem to answer like what a typical week of meals was. So for dinner, like, you know, it, one, did you cook or did you guys order? Did you get, like, what was the meal for the, for the week? Well, we've eaten the same thing over. Eddie burgers. Hamburger uh, helper. Yeah. Um, stuffed shells I used to do a lot. Okay, um, that, now Nick, you wouldn't remember your mother making stuffed oh, shells? I didn't eat them. Meat Why? Why wouldn't you eat I this? ate noodles and butter. But you didn't oh, eat yeah, the stuff. Wait, what's uh, in the stuffed shells? Why didn't Nick eat it? I don't know. I make them tonight. They're good. Yeah, Nick. Nick, you can eat your mother's. He's I like my mom. I also don't think they're the stuffed shells your family was making. <laughs> well, no, they were homemade. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were making homemade stuffed shells. No, no. No, Mateo. I don't cook like that. No, yeah, no. We oh, don't cook like where that. Where are they from? Were you on the PTA? I, yes, I was for years. And what, what does I, a PTA do? Did fundraisers. Um, do you think I would be a good person on the PTA? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Why? You getting along with the other mothers? You don't have to get along. You just got to get them to respect yeah, you. Yeah, you kind of do. <laughs> you Nick, don't it's know. not Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's the PTA. You not get along on any committee. Okay, well, we're done with this call. Wait, then. we're not done with this call. Do you think Nick would be, we're talking about right now what kind of parents we would be? Do you think Nick would be a good parent? Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, he'd be a strict one, and he, whoever his spouse was would be doing most everything, probably. You're not wrong. <laughs> he asked what I would do in a day with a child. I said put it out in the yard at some point. Jesus. I don't know. He also you named. Go to work and let someone else figure it out. Yeah, you're damn right. <laughs> he also named his hypothetical child Blanche. Blanche. Blanche from Golden Girls. Oh my God, Blanche! All right, we gotta go. We've got an episode to film. Fine. All right. <laughs> Bye. All right. Next question <laughs> from Shannon Gatto. If you guys woke up in a Freaky Friday situation, 
Ugh. How would you live the other person's life for a day? First of all, I would go to the grocery store. And do what? I would put green things in my body. I would put vegetables. I would go to the gym. I would start drinking water. I would for one start, day, for, that's not going to change anything. It would do enough. Your body would be thanking you. I wouldn't walk to Chipotle. I would, I would do that. Nick called me, I think I should start moving. I said, okay, that's great. You, know, you want to go to the gym? No, I don't want to go to the gym. I'm thinking about Ty Bo. Ty Bo, the late 90s I hit. I stand by it. Well, what's Billy doing? Oh, he's still doing Ty Bo. <sighs> If I, Freaky Friday, woke up as you, I think I would have seafood and really test the limits. Why? You, I'm trying to make you healthy and you're trying to kill me. <laughs> no, I wouldn't let you, you die. I'm trying like, to test the limits. Nick, you're an asshole. I don't know. I'd put you out in the yard at some point. <laughs> <laughs> put me out in the yard. You are me. So you I don't know. I would do a rock concert at some point, and I'd play the guitar. I can't wait for the second one. Anyways, next question. Erica Torres, if you could live anywhere other than New York City, where would you live? Rome. Chicago. Next. <laughs> um, if you had to pick a different career, what would it be? Well, I mean, I would have... This I is would, by Anna Jackson. I wish I was on, like, Broadway singing. That would be so much fun. Um, I think I would be, oh God, a different career. Remember, you have to think of jobs that you'd have to get along with other people. Yeah. Um, so many things I hate too. Um. Opera? Yeah, but that's, I've kind of done that. You didn't go to the But I mean like. Something just completely different. What would oh, I do? Something complete, okay, something completely different. Uh, I wish I was like a, an athlete. That would be so fun. Yeah. To be cool. I want to be, I'm, but I'm not athletic. Maybe I would be a doctor. I'd get free medical. Um, this, this is a good end one. Um, if you could choose to be alive during any historical period, what would it be? Why and where? And P.S. It can't be the gold rush. <laughs> uh, I would be alive whenever they were building the pyramids in ancient Egypt to see how they were done. Aliens. They were not done by aliens. Um, I would be alive. When was Game of Thrones? Nick, that's a fake show. No, I it's would not be... even in this universe. <laughs> I would do, when was like Marie Antoinette and all of that? Like Elizabethan or Victorian? Yeah. Or the Tudors? You want to go to France before the French Revolution when it was like the worst time to live in France? (laughs) One day more. (laughs) Wasn't the French Revolution right after Marie Antoinette? was? It was part of it, right? Yeah. Thank you for watching and listening to another episode. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe to our Patreon so you can submit questions for our next Q&A episode. And until next time.